Some days it's as though I'm possessed. I can't focus on anything else. How do I capture the muscle memory, the rhythm, the sheer power of dance? My inspiration has always been dance. Mostly I'm influenced by modern ballet, but it could be hip hop or jazz, dance that's raw with energy. I'm not trying to recreate the dance or the dancer. I'm trying to capture her energy and strength. And while I love each piece I create, I'm never satisfied. How could I be? I can't ever fully capture the dynamic energy of dance in a static sculpture. That doesn't stop me from trying over and over. And because it's the concept that keeps me engaged and not the medium or the technique, I use a range of materials and methods to express what I'm feeling. With a background in design and construction, working with diverse materials comes naturally. In fact, part of the experiment is to discover how different materials, scales, and types of abstraction affect the power of the movement and how we perceive her relationship to the landscape. I always start by hand sculpting a wax model. I might spend a few days or several weeks on the model. The next step is to digitize the figure using photogrammetry. Now I have the figure in a 3D file that I can manipulate digitally. I might simply make changes in scale, but more often I make more extensive changes, experimenting with distorting and abstracting the form or adding and subtracting components. I usually spend more time on the multiple digital files than I did on the wax model itself. I can also try and discard lots of concepts before selecting the few that I'll move forward to fabrication. I always have in mind the material and fabrication technique as I do these experiments. However, sometimes the evolving form will influence the material or technique I select. In these two figures, adding the skirts based on a digital file of an impeller allowed me to enhance the feeling of motion. And since I was planning on casting them in bronze, I could send the digital file directly to the foundry. Modern 3D technology, in this case a CNC computerized router, allows me to create complex artwork in my studio. With a different set of computer programs, I can dissect the form and develop and send instructions to the CNC machine. And then I'm back to using my hands to assemble the final artwork. I'm usually already designing the next piece before this one is done.